guys, it's Lee, and I'm back with another acrylic pouring video. And in one of my previous videos, someone asked if I'd be doing an autumn fall color pour, and I thought that would be fun. So I went to Walmart and I got the following colors to use. This is Classic Caramel, which I added a little bit of this gold bar to that I got from Target. I also have a little bit of this just mixed up by itself. I got Pumpkin Orange. Mountain Forest Green, Golden Yellow, uh, Burnt Umber, <laughs> sorry, Burnt Umber, and Barn Red. And these are all Apple Barrel, except the one from Target. I'm also going to be using the Artist Lofts Parchment as well. and. I added Floetrol and water to everything. These colors and the gold, I actually added a little bit of Liquitex to first because they're so thick. I don't know if that helps or not, but it helps mix them. It helps them, you know, mix up nicer. I don't know if I mentioned this, but none of the colors have silicone. And I also have a tiny bit of black left over from a previous pour. I mean, there's very little. I don't know if I'm gonna use it, but it's here just in case. So I'm thinking I'm going to attempt another tree ring pour. I'm going to start out with the parchment. Then a little bit of the barn red. I'm going to try to pour them in. I don't know if they'll sink or not. Ooh, that's a little thick. Hmm, that one's a little thick yet. Um, do the yellow. Some more parchment. Oops, I did that one orange. This one's a little thick as well. They've thickened up on me. Brown, burnt umber. Um, what haven't I used? This caramel color with a little gold added. Some more of the parchment. The actual gold. The green, of course I put it way over there. I'm actually liking what's happening down there. Oops, I do not want to get this on the floor. I always make such a mess and get stuff all over the floor when I do this. A little of the green. Uh, a little more brown. These are so thick, I really need to thin these up. A little more red. I'm just gonna do some parchment and yellow and orange and that's it, just a little bit. And yellow. All right, actually, whoops, I almost knocked that over. That would be horrible. A little bit of parchment on top. Now, I'm thinking I have way too much paint. Let me come around to this side. Move all of these out of the way. I'm not going to stir this. I want to see what happens um, when it's, you know, just like that. Oh, you know what? I'm going to add just a shot of black. All right, so let's see. This, I don't know if you can see, is really cool. So let's see what happens. And of course I'm using a plastic cup that isn't gonna bend very nicely, but let's just see. Nothing but green at first. Here we go. I have way too much paint. Okay. 
feel like I lost my reds. Where did my reds go? Oh, I can see them coming up a little bit. Oops, I'm gonna torch it. Now, like I said, there isn't any silicone in here, but there is the flood flow troll, which does cause cells sometimes. All right. Oops. All right, let's go. I'm going to start in circles. Whoops, well that didn't work. That wasn't a circle. Okay, so I need to wipe my hands off. I'm gonna take a, the stick and sort of put some color up on this edge. And this is just to help the colors flow a little better, so hopefully I don't lose as much. Colors look so nice together. I think I hope they dry nicely. Okay. Oops. All right. So it's all covered. Well, pretty much. I'm gonna give it just a little bit more of a tilt. I don't wanna lose any of this really. Over the edge. Back this way a little. Let me torch it one more time. Get the sides. All right. I think it's really pretty. So let me bring you down and show you what it looks like close up. So here is the close up. I can't really tell if any of the gold metallic is showing through because it's all wet. So it all looks very shiny. That might be gold right through that section. Sorry about the overhead lights. I don't have a better room to do this in, so just kind of stuck with this. I think I forgot to mention this is a 12 by 12 canvas. I'm really liking what's happening in there. I think it's really pretty. Let me know in the comments section below what you guys think, and I will bring you back tomorrow when it has dried a bit and show you what it looks like. Here it is. It's actually been quite a few days since I poured this and it really has turned out so much better now that it's dry, it's completely dry. Um, yeah, I wasn't quite sure I was gonna like it 
when I poured it. But yeah, I really love the dried version. I'm not sure what the heck happened there, but it's still pretty and I really like it. Let me know in the comments section what you think. And if you're new to my channel, please consider hitting the subscribe and the little bell so that you get notified every time I upload new videos. Also, if you're only here for the acrylic pour videos, I will leave a link to the playlist in the description box below. I upload them on weekends only, so you'll know when to come back and look for them. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also find me on Instagram, Twitter, Pinterest, and Facebook at Lee's Home 05. Thanks for watching. Bye.